what, what can people do that, and of course we could talk about what do it actually is doing means. And you can see that it's all happening the way it is. And that's a form of doing. But in essence, it's already, it's all done. We've got to this point and here we are. So that's the only relevant conjecture we can make on the circumstances we're in. We're here, how we got here is through the past. Where we're going from here is what determines the future. So people are, <clears throat> I think, are desperately searching for answers to this situation where we're, we're in a state of emergency globally, everywhere. Every person is feeling it. Things are seizing up. And there's no understanding which can get us through this. We just have to be patient and, and let it work out. But is it gonna work out the same old way it was with the, the dollars in control and the governments making laws? Like, like where is it going from here? That was a long speech. Well, there is a, a necessary contentment of mind that if it still takes another thousand years, then it's going to take another thousand years. And in the acceptance of that or the resignment of that, we can shed ourselves of the frustration and the, the yearning and in so doing become so chill that maybe the world gets saved a little bit faster. That's that, is that that thousand years of peace? Like again, that's oh, another prophecy. I don't know, I just use a thousand years as a good, uh, it's good for humans to conjecture thousand year periods. Yeah. Because yeah. The, the stuff they content themselves now will determine what the world will be like a thousand years from now. But still, in getting through the day, like it's, sometimes it's difficult. Like you got struggles, daily struggles. Our daily bread, like 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 the the insecurity of the moment, and and looking looking from here, like what is it? What do we want to continue for a thousand years? Like how do we, you know, how do we want to live that thousand years out from the now? What, like like what's what's the opportunity? to be peaceful and content in the moment we're in. Is there an opportunity for that or is it just more struggle, more and more struggle? Well, until people can objectify mortality, they can be cavalier and simply understand that there's no escaping mortality. And so ultimately, there's no reason to fear or be angry for that matter. We can, we can be courageous. We can accept our mortality and figure out, well, if we're gonna die anyway, why don't we imbue heaven? But everyone's caught up in the uh, grand delusion that steals away time to think. And so everyone has a perception of how things work and they don't think deeper about it and they just accept it and because that's what their parents did and their parents' parents and, and you, you, you tell yourself that the meaning of life and the, the nature of the universe is something that monks do or, or whatever, that's their job and so we don't have to do it. When in fact the truth is amazingly simple and only seems difficult because there's a lie on top of it. And so it's the conquering of that lie, the, the, the transcending of the devil, metaphorically, that we can find a world that gets to enjoy an absence of hate and a intelligence born on knowing that you can trust everyone. So there, there's angelic innovation to be had. And so it's ultimately it always comes down to patience. Because uh, 
then you're shining with something that isn't rage or panic or fear of starvation. And no matter what the future brings, we can face it gracefully.